Hello, my name is Marissa Cavanaugh from the McGraw-Hill English team, and this is a video on power of process, a new assignment type available within Connect. Power of process is a new assignment type in Connect that guides students through reading and writing strategies by having them annotate and free write in response to a selected text. Power of process's guided approach helps encourage students to be active readers while having them think critically and respond to a reading. Let's take a look at Power of Process Live and Connect from both the instructor and student's perspective. As an instructor, within Power of Process, you have a different choice of how you'd like a student to proceed through a text. You can choose a selection from McGraw-Hill's Bank of Readings. You can upload your own choice of text. Or you can have students choose to upload their selection of a text. If you choose to use McGraw-Hill's options, you can use the filters on the left to help narrow down your search. For example, I can choose to filter by lexile or grade range, discipline, genre, modes or purpose, word count, or themes. For example, let's say I'd like a reading selection on student success. The choice of selections is now narrowed down to a select few. I can preview each of these readings myself and then choose the one that I like. As I continue forward, I will be presented with the process wheel. These are the reading and writing strategies that students will be asked to complete and act upon. All of the strategies are classified in three categories, before reading, during, or after. As you can see on the left, there is a wheel here defaulted as an example for you. You can choose to deselect any strategy in hand and add in anyone you'd like. As you make these adjustments, the visual version of the wheel will change. You can also see why McGraw-Hill chose to select this particular strategy by clicking the Learn More button. In this Learn More section, you will see the objective, why we think the strategy is important, as well as tips for using suggested strategies. All of these strategies are completely editable. You can either add in your own selection or change the content itself by clicking on the strategy. This will allow you to re-image or redo any of the strategies so they're in your own voice and in your own words and explanations to your students. I can move through all of these different strategies and there will be a different focus as I go through. In the before selection, a lot of it is on previewing and identifying the purpose. During the strategy has a lot more defining context, looking at meaning and author. And the after selection has a lot of material on free writing, reflecting on the text, mapping, determining credibility, and etc. As I go through and choose the different strategies, I am able to choose how my students will respond to the strategies as well. On the right, I have an option as an instructor to choose either a text or a written response, or to have students highlight and show me examples of this particular reading. As I make these selections, I'm going to be asked at the very bottom to click continue and choose any additional instructions and final due date that I'd like to give to my students. In addition to adding a point value to my gradebook, I can also upload any attachments or samples or modeling guides that I would like. As I finish, I'm going to assign this to my students within Connect. Like all assignment types within Connect, it will show up to my students on the front page of their Connect program, or if you're using this in conjunction with the learning management system, it can be sent out via Blackboard, Moodle, D2L, or Canvas. When my students proceed into the assignment, they will receive my instructions and examples. The reading will be presented, but before a student is even allowed to move forward, they will be walked through the different strategy approach. All of the strategies I've chosen are going to be presented here to the student, and they are going to be asked to click on the one that they'd like to begin with. In this example, the reading is listed below, and the strategy is up top. In this particular strategy, it's predict what I'll read. So the student is asked, when I look at the title, the author, paragraphs, vocabulary, etc., what do I believe is the main idea? In this particular scenario, I've asked the students to actually highlight and show me an example of what the main idea is. To do so, the instructions are listed below. 
students will be able to highlight the part of the text that they believe is the main idea. And wherever I end my highlight, an annotation button will pop up and I can type in a response to the question listed above. When I save my work, the highlights will appear in the color coded listed on the right by the legend. If I've added several different annotation strategies, each will be color coded as I move through the program. When I'm finished highlighting and giving an example, I can click save and move on to the next strategy. What's great about the Power of Process tool is that it asks students to slow down, think about their reading, and respond to what they're learning. One of my favorite parts of the Power of Process tool has to do with when, stu when it, different strategies interact with one another. For example, before a student is asked to read the entire essay, they're asked questions about the text. So for this example, when I look at the title, the author, headings, etc., what questions do I expect to have answered? As I save these questions and ask it of myself and the text, they may be brought back later in different parts of this particular assignment. While I was asked to at one point ask questions, I'm also asked later on to define those questions and answers. In this particular strategy, I'm asked, did I find the answers to my questions? And what were those answers? My examples earlier in the assignment are brought back to me to refer to. As I go through this entire process and every single strategy, at the very end, students will be asked to reflect upon their own work. Their progress through each strategy will be tracked and timestamped, and they will be asked to think about what their learning is. Did these strategies help you? What decisions or understandings do I now have about the text? When finished, I can submit this to an instructor for grading and feedback. That type of information, when accurately done by a student, will look something similar to this. At the end, I will have a tabulated report over on the right of both my annotations, questions, and answers, as well as the written responses that I've written in the free, free writing section. Instructors can also see the actual annotations and highlights that I've made on the text itself. In our work with using this with instructors and students, we found a lot of success with students using this particular assignment to see the application of skills and that have been discussed in their face-to-face -face class. Students are asked throughout the entire power of process assignment to slow down, think critically, and ask questions both of themselves and of the text. Instructors may use the power of process tool in conjunction with some of the other assignments in Connect, such as Learn Smart Achieve, or they could use it as a reinforcement to what they're doing and discussing in a face-to-face -face class. Thank you very much for joining us, and if you'd like an additional demo of Power of Process or to try it out yourself, please contact your local McGraw-Hill sales rep. Thank you.